Hello. Hello. Hi, everybody. So clearly here I am. This is like my little resin crafting corner. I'm taking out all of the hooks from their molds right now and setting them to the side so that I can sand them tomorrow. But yeah, really like right after the hook drop yesterday, I like in the middle of the hook drop, I literally was like already making more. <laughs> like I cannot stop. Oh my God, these are so pretty. Ugh. So yeah, I figured this is gonna be like the first time I do it on a live, but I need to start making more hooks anyways. So um, we're gonna do it for live stream because for the first time ever, I don't have a crochet project right now. Like, that's kind of a lie. I just started one today, but it's a tutorial, so I need to like film that in front of the camera. So I figured, yeah, I don't really have anything to work on, you know, on the live stream, like crochet wise. So I'm gonna resin today. We are gonna resin. Oh my gosh, these are like, some of my favorite sets right here, just like, oh. but how are you guys doing? Love from Canada. Wow. Hi, Amara. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm not picking my nose. I'm like twisting my piercing around. I don't know if y'all have been noticing, but I've been like editing my videos and like my, my piercing is like sticking out through my nose. So it looks like I have a boogie or something. And I'm like, the whole time I'm talking for like five minutes, there's just like a ring like sticking out of my nose. So I keep having to like tuck it in there, but. Amara, thank you. Yeah, guys, I'm curious. Anybody here, did you guys have time to snag any of the hooks? They went really fast. I was actually really not expecting that. Um, I need to put these somewhere. I have like no room on this table. Y'all should see there's just hooks everywhere. Like there's a pile of five hook sets right here. There's two other piles. I have baggies of hooks. I've literally got like all of my hooks like in their packaging over here. This table is a mess, an absolute mess, but. I just need to ignore the mess and just make more hooks. But, um, oh, hi, China. You said you got, you got a set and two singles. Woo! Thank you. Honestly, um, just the fact that you guys like chose to spend like your own personal hard earned money, like on my merch. Like I was speechless. Um, in case you guys are interested, I decided I'm like currently in the process of filming um, like another studio vlog. So I filmed me putting the set or the website live. Um, and then I got like a bunch of orders like on like tape. And y'all, the orders came in right when I put that stuff on live. So I put the site live, I wanna say like a minute before 8 a.m. my time. And as I'm recording, I'm like talking to the camera and like legit at 8.01, my phone started buzzing and I just kept getting orders and orders and orders. And um, I have to go look at the footage again, but I'm pretty sure the floral hook sets sold out in I think 15 minutes, like 13 or 15 minutes. It went so fast. Like I got a notification from my website saying, 
it is like sold out. And then like within a couple minutes, I had some people DMing me like, oh my God, your, your floral hooks are sold out. And I wanted to get some and like, they're already gone. So I guess this is like kind of why I chose to do the live stream of me making more hooks because I'm literally, I haven't even set out anything yet, but I'm planning obviously on restocking the floral hooks. I feel like for now, I might not restock the holographic ones, um, but I definitely have decided that every time I do uh, a drop on my site, I will always, every single time, restock the floral hooks. So yeah, I'm literally gonna be making more now. <laughs> and my stuff literally just went live yesterday, but I'm already making more. So um, in a second here, I'm about to throw on some gloves. So I won't really be able to touch my computer too much and like scroll, but hopefully I can keep up with the chat as much as I But yeah, I'm gonna put on some gloves right now. Literally mix resin on this live screen for you guys. And then literally just start making more hooks. And I know I had some people, not some people, I had like literally one person comment like weeks ago on one of my videos saying, um, like they didn't they didn't say they didn't like, but they're like, oh, it kind of bugs me. Like, I don't want to support a small business that uses like like one-time gloves and yeah, 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 like that's so wasteful. And in case y'all y'all didn't know, I literally reuse my gloves. So I doubt any of y'all really have an issue with that. But um I I wanna say I reuse my gloves like three times and then I'll put new ones on. So yeah, I'm trying my best to like not be wasteful and like reuse my stuff. So if I get like resin on these, get later that day again. Amara said, I think your logo would be really cute. Yeah, I've for honestly months now, I've actually been looking at different ways to make stitch markers. And at first I kind of thought about doing like resin stitch markers because I'm already, you know, using resin. But long story short, I feel like not yet, um, but I do want to, I think want to have like enamel stitch markers. So I have like a bunch of different like designs in my head. That way I can like make a set of like five stitch markers. Um, here we go, we're literally pouring the resin. This is, I'm surprised I have this much left over, but yeah, I do want to make stitch markers. I just need to like source them out. But yeah, sorry, I know I'm like silent, I'm like thinking, but um, yeah, it was crazy. The website sold out, I think it was like by 11 o'clock. It was like 11.15 or like 11.30, all the hook sets were purchased. Um, so I think the only thing left right now on my site are the stickers. I still have some stickers available. And then as you guys know, I have my crochet sweaters up on the site as well. But yeah, all the hooks sold out. So I don't know. I don't want to like put too much on my plate, but I was talking to Jordan about it. Um, Cause Jordan was actually at work shooting while the site went live, but he was literally like texting me every, like every couple of minutes and like updating me and, um, He's like, I want to start helping you make these because so many people seem to like really want them. And um, I don't know, there's just so many different designs and things that I want to do with these hooks that I feel like this could be, not even feel like. I know that this is going to be like a very long-term thing for me. Like this is like the direction my business is going. So um, I want to say I have 30... 
think I have like 38, 38 or 40 sets in total for the drop. Um, but yeah, I was talking to Jordan about it and he was like, I feel like for your next drop, you need to have like at least 30 of the floral. And then as you guys know, there's other designs that I want to do. So I'm actually going to order that stuff later today. I'm really excited that I'm going to buy more resin. I'm going to buy more design stuff. So yeah, the next ones, y'all ain't ready for the next ones. I don't even have the material yet, but I already know what I want to get. So I'm like really, really excited. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, on, let me know here because I'm open for suggestions. Marin, hi Marin. <laughs> I know, dude, the floral hooks went so freaking fast, but also Jordan was very touched. I told him that you had DM'd me and you're like, no, the floral set sold out. And then you're like, I still got some anyway. So I got the lavender ones I saw. I checked your order. Girl. I have a very supportive group here. Like I did not think my things were going to sell out. Definitely not even in the first day. I definitely thought it was going to take about a week to get like all the orders in before I could like start sending everything out. And then little did I know in 15 minutes, I was like, Oh yeah, somebody here is asking about um, uh, knitting needles. I would love to. I had a handful of people actually DM me like, are you going to make resin knitting needles? And I've been searching. I still haven't stopped, but I haven't really seen to find resin, resin. I haven't seen to find knitting molds. And I know there's definitely a way that I could make the molds myself, but that is even more time consuming. And if I'm going to do like mass production like this, you know, for me, mass production, I need like several sets. Um, yeah, I was also trying to think of a way if I make the molds myself, how would I take the mold off of the knitting needle? Like that's a very, I don't know if you guys know this, but with these hook molds, I have a huge opening right here, which I can pour the molds into. But when it comes to knitting needles, I feel like the whole thing would just be circular and I don't really know how to make that myself. So at the moment, I won't be doing knitting needles, but if any of you guys happen to find silicone molds for knitting needles, definitely send me the link, show me what's good because I would love to also do knitting needles. Like that would be crazy. So if y'all know where to find them, please let me know. And then somebody's asking how much are the hooks? So the hook sets, sets come in six, 6.5, 7, 8, 9, 10. The sets are 45 or they were, and then each single is $6. So yeah. Yeah. And Chloe, I think you said all together, I made, I think it was like 40, it's like 38 or 40 sets. Um, oh no. What? My connection. What's going on here? Can y'all see me? YouTube said my connection is unstable. Yeah, it's currently raining pretty hard, like all of a sudden. So I feel like the weather is what's making my connection weird. Yay, Caffeine, you said I'm good? Okay. Yeah, I have this like huge alert on my screen right now saying your connection is unstable. Please wait while we try reconnecting. So I'm like, uh, am I even live anymore? <laughs> but so yeah, I just finished mixing up the resin right now. Las raison. And I'm just waiting for all the air bubbles to rise. That way I don't get any air in the molds and then I can start pouring them. But yeah. Oh, I'm already even looking for ne needle molds too. Yeah, like I feel like I've searched so many like random websites and still haven't been able to find it. Like I said, I was able to find like mixture stuff to make molds, but I'm like at the point where like I cannot, I cannot, I need to just have the mold. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm definitely not there yet, but like I said, um, once 
once I start to have like a bigger, like steady income, I would love to like start hiring people, maybe like, I don't know if it's like sourcing it out and like give the materials and everything for somebody else to help me make them resin hooks or yeah, I don't know. It's kind of complicated, but yeah, obviously for the time being now, I'm the one still making them myself, but um, yeah, it's, it's very tedious. So I feel like the entire process, even if I were to hire people to help me with this, I can't source the entire process out because as you guys know, I pour the resin into the molds and that in itself is very tedious. Can't source the entire process out because as you guys know, I pour the resin into the molds and that in itself is very tedious because you pour it and everything and then once they solidify like a day two days later I have to sand everything down and that's actually the most tedious process because you have to be very careful with the sander and yeah it's just kind of complicated how you have to do it so I have to sand it and then even after I sand it so like right here I have a whole four sets in front of me um that need to be glossed but as you guys can see after I've sanded down the back can you guys see how it's like foggy and it's just because I took off all the parts that were like jagged and rough and not smooth. So now that these are sanded down, I have to go in with a separate resin, um, like a UV resin, and I have to gloss them very carefully and then put them under a UV light and let those reset again for like another two days. So it's like very, it's a very lengthy process, but hello from Sweden. Oh, hi, everybody. Brittany, that's right. You live in LA. Actually, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, guys, I'm so sorry if my thing is lagging right now. It says I have really good connection and I'm the only one using the internet right now. So I don't know why. Uh, I'm really gonna blame it on the weather. I feel like maybe a, a, a pole went down somewhere or like a transformer transfuse box exploded or something. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Brittany. Actually. Wait, I actually might think about that. <laughs> like, obviously I'd have to like teach you certain steps, but that'd be cool. And we could just kick it. <laughs> we can just like crochet and kick it while shit is drying or something. Samantha said, hi, Erin. I ordered a set of white holographic hooks. Let me know if you make more floral ones, girl. I'm making more right now, so. Oh, my shit's falling over. I'm literally making more. Um, I made the ones I just pulled out right now at the start of the live stream. I just made two sets yesterday, literally while I was in the middle of opening my shop. And just literally every single day, I, I make hooks. I usually do it first thing in the morning, but I had to film this morning and like do other stuff. So yeah, I'm going to continue to put out floral hook sets every single time I have the drop and then have new designs as well. So yeah, like I said, I have to order the stuff today because I cannot wait to like start messing around with the new stuff and show you guys what I'm making. Um, so yeah, I don't really know. Obviously I still wanna do like entire sets, but um, I'm really debating if I should make smaller sets. Like I know some people were saying like a set of three would be really cool um, or like a set of four. So I'm still trying to like figure out other things I want to do like with the hooks in the future. Um, so yeah, kind of bouncing around ideas of if I should still make total sets or like sets of three. Um, yeah, just trying to figure everything out. But yeah. Oh, and Brittany, since you said you live in LA on a different note, um, as you know, Jordan, he's also like, a freelance artist and he has a bunch of friends that do like freelance artistic things and one of our mutual friends is actually hosting a what's it called it's not like a flea market but it's like a pop-up event and he has like other 
friends and brands who are selling their own stuff. But pretty much everybody has like their own like pop up shop. And I think he said in April, he asked me to do a pop up thing with him. So I pretty soon here I need to start making other merch and like fun stuff to bring to this pop up event because I'm gonna have my own table and physically be selling my things like in person. So I'll let you know, like I'll tell everybody, like, you know, who lives in California, I'll let y'all know when and where, but I will be doing like an in-person pop-up with all of these other really cool creators. So I don't want to like go too crazy because y'all know I can like pick up too many things at once and try to do everything. But I feel like at the very least, I do plan on bringing crochet hooks to the pop-up. And like you guys know, I want to bring tote bags and sweaters or I'll bring in that stuff. Really fun. I don't know any of the details yet. I don't have a date yet. But April, pop up in California, Southern California. If you guys are in the neighborhood or around, please drop by. At least you don't have to buy anything. Just come say hi. Um, like I need friends, y'all. Like <laughs> being like a freelance artist, especially like knitting and crochet. Not a lot of people do that these days. And as y'all know, I just am in my house every day filming. By myself and then when I'm done filming by myself I start editing by myself and then I sit on my couch and I crochet by myself so it's like it gets very lonely and I would love to see you guys in person I might actually cry speaking of crying I actually cried a little bit during during the merch drop once I just saw like how fast all the orders are coming I'm literally gonna start crying right now I literally like I was just tearing up because I was like I cannot believe this is actually happening but Regardless, we're making more hooks. I'm excited. Let me get some air out. Just trying to pop bubbles a little bit faster here. Where is my dog? Come here. Come here. Come here. Mowgli is in his bed right now. Um, Aaron, can you say hi to Logan? Hi, Logan. What is up, Logan? <laughs> I recently... I recently discovered your channel and I watch it daily while crocheting along with you. That's so cool. Thanks for watching and just like supporting, throwing my thing on in the background. Um, another kind of going along like what, the, what you said. Finally, I mentioned it a couple times, but um, a couple days ago I filmed a, I guess you could say ASMR. I'm not really talking in the video. It's kind of like a, it's like an hour long crochet with me. Um, I feel like I could do one where I talk in the future, like very soft and sensual and whatever. But I feel like a lot of people just kind of want like background noise, but also like see a little bit of action. So yeah, I filmed a one hour long crochet with me and I'm just with my plants at my desk and it's nighttime and I'm just crocheting. And I feel like I'm going to post that this next week. But that'll be a really fun video to just, um, I think there's um, there's rain in the video. So it's like rainy sounds, one hour long rain sound, background, music, whatever. But yeah, I feel like that's going to be a really fun one because I do that a lot. I usually put on like lo-fi music when I'm crocheting or I'll watch Netflix or something or I'll watch other YouTubers. So yeah, if you guys want to watch that. And just throw that on while y'all are crocheting. It's time to start the pouring. I'm gonna say each set takes me about 45 minutes just to pour. And then because I'm putting flowers in these, that takes like an extra 10, 15 minutes to put all the flowers in there. So we are pouring, y'all. We're pouring right now. Amara, are you an, he just woke up. Amara said, are you an introvert or an extrovert? 
I'm definitely an introvert. Um, back when I was like in college and stuff, I feel like I was a lot more outgoing, very extroverted. I'm in general, I'm still very loud. Like I talk very loud, but um, how can I say this? Like when I was in college, cause I was like living at college, you're just around people 24 seven. I was actually on the rowing team. So I did crew and I did school and I lived with roommates. So I was very much like loud and extroverted and just want to hang out with people all the time just always surrounded by people so I was very outgoing parties you know fun stuff and then because you know I graduated and I moved back home you're just a different living environment you know I'm not surrounded by people every single day like like it because I don't feel like I need to do a bunch of like outrageous things to have fun like I'm very low-key um, but at the same time it becomes very isolating um so yeah, it's weird. It's like I'm introverted. Like I would like to stay in. I'd rather stay in and craft or watch Netflix or read or go to the beach, gym, just like small things like that. But like when it comes to like huge like gatherings, like a, a birthday party or like a Christmas party, I get anxiety. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I have like the mental energy to like keep up with all these people just because I'm so used to being alone, you know? And obviously, like, I live with Jordan, so, like, I'm not alone, but he is very used to my my low-key quality. So when it comes time to, like, do bigger things, I do get anxiety. So I'm just pouring the resin, or I'm picking up the resin from the bottle and then pouring some into the mold so I feel like I've explained this before but when it comes to like the holographic ones I just put the glitter in there and I fill the whole thing up and then it's done with the floral ones it's actually a two-step process because if I put if I fill up the whole thing and I put the flowers in there they rise to the surface instead of sinking to the bottom so I actually have to do this in two steps I have to fill up the mold halfway and then add all the flowers in there and then let that sit for like eight or 10 hours. And then I have to mix more resin, come back to them and pour the rest of the mold. So it's a little bit, the floral ones are definitely a little bit more time consuming, but it makes sense because they're freaking the star of the show. And I also have to like squeeze the hook tip because air bubbles like to chill in there. If you get air bubbles in the tip of your mold, you're screwed. So it's like, I've definitely learned how to work with these molds, but it's like, that's gonna be something that's gonna be a little bit tricky to teach other people. Like it's gonna take a couple, a couple sessions to get it right because y'all should have seen the first ones that I ever created. I messed up a lot of them because I wasn't getting the air bubbles out or I wasn't filling them up the right way. So yeah, we are making more. Oh, bye Amara. Good night, I'm sorry you had to stay up so late, but thanks for joining. Lauren Walker, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That's what I was trying to get in the like little ASMR video that I filmed was pretty much just like the little clinking noises of the hook on my rings because that's what I hear when I'm crocheting. And I actually really like the sound of that. So it's like an hour long version of just silent ASMR. There we go.
Zoe Nicole. Yeah, I haven't seen your name in so long. But I'm glad you could join. You said resin is tricky. Yeah. It's crazy because it's like if you don't do it right, like when you're pouring it, once it's solidified, there's nothing you can do to fix it. So it's definitely like you have to, you have to like do it right the first time. There's no like, oh, let me go back. I can fix that. Brittany, I plan on shipping it's when the office opens again. Um, I have chosen just for my sanity to not go like right into packaging everything, but tomorrow and Sunday, I'm going to be packaging everything, shipping labels, all that good stuff. And then Monday, I'm going to bring everything. Ooh, almost spilled. Monday, I'm going to be bringing everything to the post office. I also learned my post offices around by my house. They close really early on the weekends, like Fridays, today and Saturday, they close at like one. So it's kind of inconvenient, but yeah, Monday, I'm gonna ship everything on Monday. I knew I missed one. Oops. Whoops. There we go. Okay, there we go. We're back. I skipped the seven. She's back. And I know it looks like I'm doing it super fast, <laughs> but it has taken me a very long time to learn how to like. I know it's kind of a mixture of, how would I explain it? I don't know if any of you guys know how to drive the stick shift, but that's kind of like what I think when I'm pouring these molds. So it's like I was saying earlier, I have to like put the tip of the syringe into the tip of the hook and then as I'm squeezing resin, I like very slowly, I'm like squeezing the tip of the hook to get all the air bubbles out. And then at the same time, I have to slowly like release the hook and then apply the same amount of pressure with the syringe that way, no air, if I like let go too fast, you know, air will rush right back into the tip of the hook. So it's like, I've kind of mastered this like stick shift technique with the hook molds of like, squeezing releasing at the same time just yeah super random but something i just noticed right now like wow i kind of filled these up a little fast but again i'm only fill, filling these up like halfway a third of the way and then honestly the longest part is getting the flowers in there because i have to manually put all the leaves in there and kind of just figure out what colors go where and so yeah definitely have gotten faster but still time consuming there we go okay so got the first one's done now the next set Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Somebody said you look like a laboratory technician. A little bit. I could take your blood. I could, I could give you a shot, take some blood. Lauren, yeah. My technique is definitely a lot better. It's really hard to like explain all this like in one video. And a lot better. It's really hard to like explain all this like in one video. And it's like yeah, the first probably like 10 sets that I ever made. I didn't know how to get the era. I couldn't figure out, you know, like the right technique. I was pouring too fast, too slow. It's like a whole thing, but now it's faster. So thank you for noticing. I have improved. And thankfully, I don't even remember what subscriber gave me the advice of using this like styrofoam board with these like little push pins because that saved me. Honestly, without that advice, the hooks would not be as straight as they are. And even at that, some of them still aren't like perfectly straight, but up until I got that comment, I could not figure out how to get like the crookedness out of the molds. And that comment honestly changed the game. It's what I do now. I use this styrofoam thing religiously. Without it, these hooks literally could not be made. There we go. And another like little random announcement. I'm just thinking about it right now. For Sunday's video, I'm going to be doing a pattern giveaway. So if you guys would like to win a free freaking written pattern, not by me, um, then just watch the video on Sunday so that you guys can enter into the giveaway. But um, if you guys saw like my last live stream, it was that that baby doll top that I was crocheting. Hello, how do I? There we go. So yeah, if you guys like to win a free pattern, that top came out so cute, actually. Actually, and then Jordan helped me shoot it here at the home a couple days ago. So cute. The top, honestly, like you could make it look more full coverage, but I guess the way I crochet it, it almost kind of looks like, um, like it could be like almost like a lingerie piece or something. Obviously nothing too revealing, but it's so freaking cute. So yeah, you guys will see all that in Sunday's video. I will also have the cute little pictures, of course, of the top and me modeling it and my creation on Instagram here in a few days as well. Oh, yeah, I just have like so much random shit to tell you. And I'm also excited because um, after that Hobie Love Fest campaign thing that I worked on for Valentine's Day, they reached out to me again and they're just like, oh, hey, we have like another campaign for April. Um, do you want to do it? And I was like, uh, yeah. So obviously that video won't be coming out until April. It's crazy. It's literally already March. Like at first I was like, wow, April's two months away. And then I'm like, oh, it's already the first week of March. But that'll be really fun. I haven't 100% decided what I'm, I'm going to be making for the next Hobie campaign. But they're so freaking nice. Like, they like, gave me like a little list, probably like eight different types of yarn. Cause obviously Hobie has like a ton of yarn on their website, but they usually give me like a list and they say, oh, you can pick from this list. Oh shoot, y'all see that? I spilled, I spilled, I spilled. 
Yeah, they like usually let me pick from a list. And then there was some yarn that I've seen on their website that I want to use. And I was like, um, so I know there's like a list I have to pick from, but is it okay if I like ask for a couple like skeins that are not on the list? And the lady who's helping me, her name is Julia, the lady who's helping me like email me, she was like, yeah, of course you can pick out whatever yarn you want from the site. And I was like, who are these nice people? Like, I know they live in Europe. Help me out because they're so freaking nice and helpful. But anyways, they let me pick out the yarn that I wanted. And I got so much yarn. I haven't gotten it yet, but I had like a big list. Because whatever I decide on making, I want it to be very like scrappy again. But I want to use like different textures of yarn, not just like different colors. So I picked out like a bunch of different textures of yarn. So I have an idea of what I want to make. But yeah, they're so nice. And I cannot wait to see what that yarn looks like in person. Ugh. Ugh. There we go, one more hook, and then I can start putting the flowers in there. See y'all, no days off. Like as fun and fun yesterday was. No days off, I'm right back to making more hooks, but they're so fun, it's very therapeutic. Usually I do this part with like YouTube on. So it's nice to have some company this time. I shouldn't really be talking this lot because Jordan is taking a nap right now. He just got home from work. And I'm like shouting at you guys. Something else I think I was thinking of earlier and I forgot. Oh my God, why didn't you guys tell me I'm spilling resin all over my finger? No chill. I, I'm trying to like figure out how often I want to do restocks. I feel like I want to say once a month. I know that's like super long. I need to wipe this off. I know like a month is like such a long time to wait. But at the same time, I feel like two weeks is like not enough time for me to get stock up. I don't know, what are you guys' thoughts? Would you prefer that I do like a drop every two weeks or three weeks and there's only like very limited amount? Or would you rather me just take a whole month, roughly like four, three to four weeks at a time and then do like a bigger drop? I feel like that might be easier because everybody can like bank on one day instead of like constantly having to give you guys new dates to keep up with. I don't know. I have a lot of leftover. Oh, that's okay. I need to pour those. And Mowgli is just under my feet in his little doggy bed taking a nap because he got to play a little bit of ball with Jordan before he went down for a nap. That's crazy. We have 46 people here just watching me re resin craft. That's so cool. I'm sorry if this is kind of boring. I feel bad, but the girl's got to work. Oh, shoot. I overfilled it. Lula, this fiber arts community is so amazing. Yeah, so many helpful people, so many nice people. I wish, gen genuinely wish, I could, like, hang out with you guys in person. Like, y'all don't even know. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't, I don't, I'm, I don't know. I'm very picky, like, when it comes to friends. Um... 
So I have one girlfriend from college that I'm still really, really close with. And thankfully, she crochets as well. Um, I haven't seen her in a couple weeks because we don't live close together anymore. But um, it's cool because like when we get together, she makes different crochet stuff than I do. And it's like we can just like geek out and like talk about things together, like things that we want to make and whatnot. I do wish I had more, oh, I almost overfilled that one too. Just more people like physically in my life who like did art like me. Like I wish I could physically be like around you guys. Cause it's so nice. It's so nice to have like supportive friends and just quality people. Spilled again. Your girl be spilling everywhere. Okay, I need to clean this up. Hello. Okay. Resin pouring is complete. Now it's a whole process, y'all. Okay. I need to pet this dog. He's being so good. I wish I could show you guys him, but he's just like by my feet. Hi, Bobby. Hi. He's just sleeping at my feet. Okay. Let's. Dang, it's already been 50 minutes on this live stream. Can you see how long it took me to pour this? It's okay, you stay. Oh, he just left. Hey, come back. Live stream. You can come on, I'm just warning you. Hi guys. Sorry, it's a mess. I just took a nap. Hi. <laughs> you sleep good? Mm -hmm. Did you wake up at all? No. Hell yeah. <sighs> so now I'm literally just taking flowers, super, super tiny, breaking them up and adding them to the molds. Are you heating up something? Yeah. There it is. I'll go with you if you want to wait 15. Can you wait? Yeah. Okay. Take a time. Take a what? Take a time. I thought you said take a dump. <laughs> I was like, uh, I don't have to. See y'all proof. I literally do this shit by hand, one flower at a time. One at a time. Would you guys, this is super random. Would you guys want to see a, like, like an ASMR resin with me? And I could film like top down, just like all my steps and stuff. I won't really be talking that much, but. Or I could talk like this and like whisper into the microphone. And use the S letter. Marin, I feel like I just saw, I can't touch the screen. I feel like I just saw you say, did I finish the top? I finished the top. It's pretty cute. I feel like after that first part that I had so much trouble with, it got really easy, especially because there was like little video things that I could watch. 
Yeah, I finished it and I only, I didn't do as many rows as her pattern suggests. So I feel like in her pattern, she had like, I don't know, 20 or something rows. And I only worked up like the first nine or 10, just cause I'm like shorter. So like, I don't have as much torso to cover, but it's so cute. You'll see the photos on my Instagram pretty soon, I promise. So right now it's kind of hard to see, but I'm using these like really tiny little petals. And literally just one by one, putting them in. Forgot. Today was photography appreciation. Oh, Ooh. candy, candy. Oh, I appreciate you, my photographer. That's so nice. Oh, you're the duckling. There's a duck in there. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> I should not be yelling right now on this live stream. It went from very peaceful to like, yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Jordan got a photographer's appreciation gift bag from work. And they put a, it's like a Mike Wazowski duck, alien duck in there. That's funny. I like how you didn't even know. Maybe it is. Try to eat it. Maybe it is. He's a mm. All right, now I'm going to take this flower, bronzy, magenta. I'm getting it all over my computer. And pluck off some of these flowers. Oh, my. I have to vacuum every time I finish mixing resin because I get these little flower shits all over the place. Yeah, this is just me. Literally just one by one. One by one. Okay, I'm starving. I'm going to open up one of these. Can you help me? I'm gonna get resin all over my candy. Yeah. I can't believe they really stuck in there. This is really, this is really good. Laffy taffy. Mm. There's a green one. A red one oh, let me see that. Oh, what type of grade only gets better? Grade? Mm -hmm. I don't know. An upgrade. <laughs> I was thinking like letters of like A, B. What type of scan can prevent infection? Scan? Uh, I don't know. Antivirus. <laughs> That's a good one. Good. Send that to Amanda. What? She loves. Pun? Yeah. So, Amanda's my favorite one. I know. What type of dad I have a dad? A Dan Dada. Gigabyte. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the PC go to the dock? Why is it? This is it's a what is it? Why this is a virus. It had a virus. Jesus Christ. Cold. Oh, you can't say that about. word. Right. <laughs> I don't care. It's okay. 
Mmm, it's good. Nicole said, hi, Jordan, and not your Nicole, and Lauren said, sup, Jordan, <laughs> no, I'm just reading the names, oh, hi, <laughs> Gabrielle said, congrats on selling all of your sets and singles. Hope you were able to celebrate a bit. Yeah. I saw your order, girl. Order, girl. Thank order. you. Yeah, remember, she's the one I told you about yesterday. The one that is doing Mm-hmm. I appreciate you. We appreciate you. Marin, you're not done with it yet, girl. <laughs> yeah, actually, I was like speeding through it. Like, even though it's just like a crop top, because there's so many like ruffles, it actually kind of took longer than I expected it to. So I can be pretty quick, like when it comes to making small things like really quickly. But yeah, there's just so many like increases and stuff in the row. It definitely took me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Okay, so now I'm using these like little green blue ones. Okay, let's start adding some fun ones. I'm gonna be adding some of these pink ones, like little pink balls. All right, let's start adding some like little purple ones.
little bit more purple. Okay. It's like little yellow balls and they break them up. I like these little yellow ones because it kind of breaks up all the, the deep color. They kind of look like sprinkles, honestly. Okay, and now I have some of the same ones, but like in this really dark purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these. Okay. And now I have like physical leaves. So I'm just going to like tear these up into a teeny, teeny, tiny little pieces. Okay, my computer is about to die, so I'm gonna go plug it in really fast. I'm almost done with this first set, and then I still have to add all the flowers to the next set. So yeah, it's been about, it's been about an hour. Yeah, it's been an hour and a five minutes. Since I started, and then lastly, I have like this little. They almost kind of look like like little weeds or something, but I like these because again, like different kind of texture, and like the actual flowers. And I like to add branches too, like the little stems of the flowers in there. Almost done here. Oh, 
All right, the first set is done. Let me get my charger and I'll probably go on for like another 10 minutes and then we're gonna call it quits. But let me grab my charger up here. last flowers and now we start all over so I don't think I showed you guys these but I have like these really cool like orange like big fat orange ones so I had to take these off and just like break off leaves one by one See, and for like the most part, I don't really get resin on the gloves. So I'm able to reuse them quite a bit. One more orange. Sorry guys, I haven't really been able to read the live chat. Sacred Goblin Duck. Hi, Helen. Hi, Helen. <laughs> Last set, baby. Looks cool, huh? Put the thing in there. It's like a very intense mix. I'm gonna have to buy more flower stuff too. So this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's kind of just a is it just the packaging? It's either that or the flowers themselves. Oh, I think it is a flower. Mm -hmm. oh. You sit down. Crazy Mowgli. So crazy Mowgli. Crazy Mowgli. Hey, Mama. All right. I'm trying to work a little bit faster because I'm getting very hungry. So I need to finish these up so I can go eat. Please again.
What are you standing in there for? Leslie, what is it? What else can we use? These are pretty. Finishing up.
Okay. Hello, I'm doing good this evening. I am just crafting. Just trying to get these done. These look about done. I'm going to buy more flowers today, too, because I'm going through it. All right. So the flower portion is done. Let's put this away. And then for very, like, last-minute touches, I like to go back in with my little dropper and just push everything down and get everything that's saturated in the resin and that way when I go to fill these up to the top later there's no like air bubbles We hear you, Mowgli. Okay, everything's looking good. So since it's like five o'clock right now, probably around nine o'clock tonight, maybe 10, or maybe even in the morning, I will go in and add the rest of the resin, but I just kind of need these to set into place for now. There we go. Thank you. 
Alrighty, everybody, this is pretty much done. Probably gonna go ahead and end the stream here. Just fixing up the last few things. Okay, we are done. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up right now. Thank you guys for coming on the live and just watching me craft a little bit more. But I'm gonna get going. We're gonna go eat. <laughs> Bye, my hands are sweaty. You want to hit the end button for me, please? Where is it? Right in the middle. Oh. <laughs> I don't have your computer. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> You're funny. You touch screened it.